So today <coughs> I will show you how to make handish. Some call it teller pita. So I will show you how to make handish um, in my style. So I hope this is um, useful to you and I hope you still have time to make it just before read. So I will show you what I do. First of all, I will measure my rice flour with a little children's plastic cup. So this is a normal general cup size that children drink from. So I will take two cups of rice flour in this little cup. It's, it's a medium sized cup, I wouldn't say it's so small and it's not even extra large. And I've got some water here. I've got some desiccated coconut. I've not got fresh coconut in the house. I've actually bought this um, from an Asian store. It's a Hira company. And this flower is a Hira company flower as well. I've actually put it in one of my airtight containers. And I've got a mixing bowl. I've got this... Um, Gur, it's called Classy Date Molasses. It's a Sonali make. So yeah, so it's a Sonali make. Um, the company's called Sonali, and it's a Classy Date Molasses. So I will put in as much molasses as I need. So this is Gur. Well, we still as he's called it Gur, and. I will use a, an electric whisk as well. So you'll need a beater for this process to make things, um, make the process quicker. And if you use a beater, then you won't have any lumps and your um, hand dish will have a really nice center. Otherwise, some hand dishes, hand dish will have a really thick um, center in the, in the middle, but, um, we don't personally like that so rather than throwing away the bit inside I'd rather beat it properly so there isn't a chunky bit in the middle of the hand dish or teller pita so inshallah I hope you like this recipe stay with me until the end of the video keep watching I will show you how to do it so here I've got one full cup of rice flour I will add two cups of rice flour just like this I just wanted to show you how I fill it in so we'll also need two cups of plain flour here, two cups of rice flour. Now I will get two cups of plain flour. So I've got the flour and the rice flour, well I've got the rice flour and the plain flour in the same bowl. So before I add any water to it, I will mix it thoroughly so everything gets mixed in well. And in this process, you can also add the coconut. I will show you how much coconut to use. You don't have to use as much. You can use just about. Um... So here I'm just using one serving spoon full of desiccated coconut. You can use fresh coconut. You can use the frozen coconut. But because I just have this one, I'm just going to add this in. So that's how much I will put in. You don't have to put any more than that. In fact, you can put a little bit less. But because I love coconut, so I will put this much in. So now I am putting the gur, the molasses, into the dry flour. I will not add the water yet. First of all, I would add. Uh, I will add, um, well, however much gur I want to put in at the moment. Just try to put half a um, jar. Well, I'd call it, yeah. Half a jar of the gur in, first of all, before you add, add any water. If needs be, if you need a little bit more gur, you can add it at the end. But so, um, for the time being, just use half a pot. So half of that um, jar of gur. So I've added about four serving spoons of gur here. Four serving spoons was about half of my jar, I'll show you. So I've added half of this. This was about four serving spoon as you can see i've added half of it now i will use my hands to mix it in thoroughly before i actually beat it with um, after i add the water 
I will beat it with an electric whisk. For the time being, I will mix it by hand. This is a blender mug. This is the mug that comes with the hand blender. So I've filled it in. Well, as you can see, it's a nearly full mug. So I will tell you um, how much water I've needed after I've actually put it in. So, so far, I've used more than half a cup, well, half a mug of water here. I won't be adding any more at the moment. It's looking like this. I've mixed it in thoroughly with my hands. And now I will use an electric beater to beat it in properly. And the beating will um, thin the batter down and it will lighten it as well. So you will have a really nice airy batter. So at the moment I won't be using any more water. I will see how it goes after I beat it. And whilst I'm beating, if I need a little bit more water, I will use a little bit more. Hopefully I think I'll have left a quarter of this mug. I think I will have left a quarter of this mug at the end of everything but I might use I might need a bit more it depends all in the beating so I will let you know So I will use a little bit more water here. No, Zane, wait. So I've beated my batter for five minutes. So I've used an electric whisk to whisk it all through for five minutes. And I have used a bit more water. So I'll show you how much is left in my jug. And if you were to make um, more batter, if you think this batter will not be enough for your family as your family is really big or um, you might need more um mix for more handish um, you can just double the amount of everything i've used here i've used two cups of rice flour you'd use four cups of rice flour i've used two cups of plain flour you'd use four cups of plain flour so just double everything and i've used one serving spoon of coconut you can use two serving spoons of coconut but coconut you can limit down the coconut because the more coconut you will put in the um the shape of the hand dish will probably not look as good. So if you limit down the coconut, the hand dish should look really nice and round and puffy. But sometimes if you add too much coconut and you can have little, can you see these little air bubbles? You can have more of these air bubbles in the hand dish while you're actually frying them. So if you want to avoid any air bubbles and if you want to avoid 
um, a lot of oil going sinking into the hand dish, to the inside of the hand dish, then um, you should limit down the coconut. So I've used one serving spoon. You should just leave it as one serving spoon, I think. Uh, then you will have a really nice round um, hand dish. So here, as you can see, I've still got this much water left. So this is just over a quarter cup of quarter mug of this um, blender mug size. So I have used, I'd say, um, pretty much three quarters of the mug, just a little bit less than three quarters. So this amount only used this much of water. And if you were to double everything in the amount, then you'd need double the amount of water as well. And as you saw, I only put half a mug of, half a thingy jar of gur. So if you were to double the amount of everything, you'd have to double the amount of the gur as well. So you'll need one jar of the gur, the molasses. And as you can see, my batter is looking really lovely. I won't be frying right now. You need this. Uh, you need to set the batter for at least over an hour. So I will leave it for about uh, two hours. Yeah, say two hours. If you leave the batter overnight, fry it the next morning, then the batter should um, set really nicely because it's rice flour. You need rice flour to um, actually. It's like rice flour is a little bit like yeast, so you need it actually to cook in um, the water. So you need it actually to set and to rise to puff up. It's like semolina. You like sem with semolina, you can't really um, fry semolina straight away. You're supposed to let it prove over well over an hour or so. And uh, because this is a rice flour, if you let it prove for over two hours or overnight, then hopefully you will get a really nice consistency. You will get really lovely hand dish, really round puffy ones. As obviously. Uh, we all like I like it too and this is well this recipe I've learned off my mom so my mom uses um, the amount of rice flour she uses she uses the exact same amount of plain flour in it and um, this is one process inshallah in the future if I find any more um, recipes of my sisters or my family members or anybody or my in-laws side I will definitely um pass it on to you i will actually make a video and show you guys and um, after two hours i will fry the hand dish and i will show you how it is hopefully you like the recipe so i am frying my hand dish right now and um, this is how it looks alhamdulillah it's risen really nicely i've um, kept it for two hours I uh, just covered it up and left it there on the table. I didn't put it in the fridge or anything. So after two hours of fried one and alhamdulillah, it's looking like this. So this is the batter after two hours. And um, before you start frying it, you should give it a good mix again with your hands. And then you should fry. So I'm using um, one of my measuring cups to pour the batter. It makes it easier when something's got a handle to it. The colour of the hand dish looks really nice. It's a reddish golden colour. It's so beautiful. It's like a mahogany. Like a reddish brown. So you can see how it's rising, mashallah, they're rising very very nicely and I hope yours rise like this as well and if you keep the batter overnight it should be even more better. Here's my fried hand dish ready for us to eat before we eat actually we couldn't resist it so we thought we'll fry some 
and um, have it with milk powder. Alhamdulillah, they look so yummy. And you can see how much they've risen. So this one's risen really nicely. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed my video. So I will show you the inside of one of them. That's the inside of one of them. And you can see there's no batter inside. Uh, sometimes you can have raw batter inside and this is fully cooked. And you can see there's not much left in the centre. So there's just a little bit which we can ju just um, munch on. And um, there's not a lot of that sticky centre in the middle. Um, for me I like it like this. So as I've said before, make sure you um, try to set it in the fridge for overnight, which is more ideal for Handish. Like if you actually get the batter ready the day before and leave it in the fridge for the full night and then fry it in early morning before all the children wake up, uh, before you, anyone wakes up, then you can get this over and done with. Like Handish takes ages to make because you have to literally stand in one place and fry so much. And um, so I tend to do it early morning when my children are asleep so I don't have to give, um, well I don't uh, mess with their breakfast so as soon as they wake up I can give them handish as breakfast many times like they like it as breakfast anyway. They'll just have a bit of dry uh, needle powder, milk powder with it and my husband loves um, making a needle powder paste with a bit of hot milk in uh, with the dry powder and then he makes it into a little thick paste and then he has he dips his hand dish into it and um, he'll have it with a hot cup of tea and I like to do that as well so you just get a bowl of uh, dry milk powder needle one yeah needle I love needle so it has to be needle for us and then add a little bit probably a teaspoon of hot milk to it and uh, mix it into a paste and then just dip your hand dish in and um, yeah have it as if you're having Nutella and it tastes really really nice so I hope you liked my recipe um, Alhamdulillah I hope it works out for you too and um, I hope you enjoy it if you've enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel Allah Hafiz.